All right, so it's November 1, 2020. And um, what we're working on here is super simple, but it's an issue I've noticed. And it's the easiest thing on the planet to fix. So, well, anyway, I'm not going to say fix because then somebody's going to say, well, he said to do this. And then something happened. So this is what I did to correct the problem. Okay, you don't have to do it, but this is what I did. There's my disclaimer. All right, here we go. So I got a 2014 Ram, half ton. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter if it's one ton, whatever. Um, but I got this trailer here. And so what I've done is I put these electric over hydraulic brakes on this trailer. And I'm just doing it some tests here to make sure I wired everything right. And one thing I noticed when I pull my truck up here, it's got an integrated onboard brake controller from the factory. And when I hooked that all up, everything's working, lights are working, everything's working except the electric brakes. And so I was thinking, what's the problem here? Is it the truck's fault or is it the trailer's fault? So I got my multimeter out and did some troubleshooting. Truck's fine, trailer's fine. Well, there's gotta be an issue, right? Something's not working. Anyway, um, bottom line is the controller in the truck doesn't, and I've, I use this truck all the time, pull my other gooseneck two car crawler. It's got regular electric brakes, which this used to have. So I know it did work, but that doesn't mean it still works. Anyway, so I went ahead and did the troubleshooting and I was like, well, what I found is just by just normal troubleshooting is there's no resistance with electric over hydraulic brakes. There's no resistance. So the, the, the truck doesn't know anything's back here. Doesn't have a clue. So we got to give it some resistance. So I thought about that. I'm like, well, what's the best way? What's the quickest way to just to verify I'm right. So what I did was I just got a little $3 multimeter or a test light and what i've done somebody else did this before I, I bought this trailer used they've got this they've, they've added this extension and so what i'm going to do typically typically not all the time typically you're whoever wired it but typically your electric brake circuit is your wire is your your blue wire and so what i've done i'm, I'm just going to put this test light in here like so super easy and I've got it ground to the bumper because that's typically a pretty good ground because everywhere else may have paint on it. So I just got it clipped right here. You know, no big deal. So I'm just going to lay that down. Cool. All right. So um, we're going to step over here. Like I say, this is just an old half ton eco diesel. No big deal. But that doesn't make any difference if it's a one ton or whatever. All right, so we're going to hit a little accept button here. Cool. All right, so we're going to hit a little controller. Right now, you see if you'll notice. See up here? It's showing, and you can hear it. You can hear the, the electric over hydraulic working. And I can lower it down, whatever. That's not the point. All right, so we're working right now, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the key off, okay? We're going to take the resistance away. Okay? That's it. So now it's like we're typically hooked up. No big deal. And I know everybody's thinking. Everybody's thinking, he doesn't have it grounded. Yes, it is. I have it grounded through the cable to the trailer, and this, and then the pigtail is grounded to the truck or to the trailer. Everything's grounded. So we took that away. So don't worry about it. Everything's the same, blah, blah, blah. Well, when it wants to. Seems like when you're waiting on it, it okay. Here we go. All right, so we're just gonna see nothing. See up here? Nothing. Nothing's work. Okay? That's because the system doesn't have the resistance. So what we're gonna do now, okay, I'm gonna leave everything turned on, and we're gonna put the resistance on it. Take our ice pick here, put it in our blue wire, which it could be pink for people. I don't know. Whoever wired your stuff, you need to figure that out. But just put it on the the circuit that is for your trailer brakes. Okay.
Okay, I've done no nothing in here, no changes. Okay, super easy fix. You don't need to go out and rush out and buy a $100 controller and destroy your dash with holes in it and you get this thing in your way. You ain't got to fool with it, okay?